So what is going on everyone? Fernando Silva here with another video and today we got an exciting one because if you guys have been following me, you know that I've been doing a Microsoft series on both the iPad Pro and the M1 MacBook Air. And the iPad Pro videos get the most traction because people wanna be able to use Microsoft Office on their iPad Pros because they want their iPad Pros to be their only computer. Well today, Microsoft actually just released their Microsoft Office Hub application dedicated for the iPad Pro. Before we had it, but it was only for iOS so when we would use it on the iPad Pro, we would get that enlarged version, that 2X version of an application. But now this is a dedicated version for the iPad Pro, and it's actually really, really nice. So without further ado, let's figure out exactly what's going on with this application. So I just wanted to take a moment to kind of show off the UI and the actual application itself. So this is the home screen that I have set up. This is the Office application. I just downloaded it. I haven't kind of converted it to anything yet, but this is the application itself. And if you're already signed in to Microsoft Office on any of the other softwares like PowerPoint or Outlook or anything like that, this will automatically be logged in. So I'm gonna start with the top left. As you guys can see, I have both of my accounts in there, the work and the personal. If I go to the home section right here, this is the hub. This is where everything kind of stays and looks, right? So you get access to all of your different files, whether it's a PDF, a Word, an Excel. So if I open up this Word document, you gotta give it a second, it opens it up, and then you can actually do things and edit it right on here. So you can see everything that's on here, edit the document as you see fit, you can refresh it, you have the layout over there, and then boom, you're into editing. And again, I'm still using the Microsoft Office application, so it didn't jump me or throw me into the Microsoft Word application. So this is all done directly inside of the Microsoft Office application, which I think is awesome. So it's, again, the idea that you have a hub where you can do everything you need to. So if I get out of there, again, this is the main screen. So these are all the documents that I've created and that have been shared with me as well. So you can see most of them are Word documents. But like I showed earlier, you do have, you know, for instance, an Excel document that I'm opening up right here. Boom, there you go. And you can work on this Excel file through Microsoft Office, which is a beautiful thing to see. And then one of the coolest things about Microsoft Office is this new panel right here, which gives you a bunch of different cool options and kind of different applications that you would sometimes need to leave the Microsoft suite in order to get done. For example, you have, these are the main ones that I would love to kind of check out. So for instance, the ability to sign a PDF. So if I just open this one up, this is just a sample contract that I have right here. Right, I can zoom in and out, see where I need to sign. So for instance, this contract has been executed. I wanna tap right here. And I can also resize it, move it around and put it exactly where I need it to be. So that is a nice little way to sign any PDF documents that you have saved already on your OneDrive. And then from here, you can just open it up, look at all the pages. So there's different ways to kind of format and view everything, which again, is very nice to have. And I'm very glad that Microsoft created this iPad Pro Microsoft Office Hub, which is a beautiful thing to see. Another thing that I'm gonna show you is scan to PDF. So scan to PDF is something that's built into the Files app natively, or you can download third-party scanners that use a back camera to scan these documents. And most of them are pretty efficient, but I do wanna show you some B-roll of me scanning a document that would look very, very difficult to scan if it wasn't through this Microsoft Office application. And the scan came out beautifully. Like I was very surprised. It was a spiral notebook scan of a sheet of paper with terrible handwriting and it scanned the whole thing. And then two other options that are huge that I use on a daily basis, especially for my nine to five job, because I get a lot of documents in PDF format and I need to move them to Word in order to reformat them. So right here, I have a PDF to Word. So if I wanna grab this sample document convert it, let it do its thing, all of a sudden, look, my sample contract went from a PDF right into Word, and now I can do whatever I want with it from here. I can share it, I can save it, I can do whatever I want. If I go back, it's gone. So that is built into there, which is something that wasn't built in before, and I usually have to go to like pdf to worddoc.com in order to get that done. And then you can do the same thing, but vice versa. So if you have a document that you wanna to convert to a PDF, like a PowerPoint to email it a lot simpler and with a smaller file size, Boom, you have that option right there. And then you also have a few other options. So you have scanner QR code, which you can do directly from the camera, but it's also good to have it here. You can create a form, so you can create surveys directly from here. So anything that you wanna send out, we have questions to a big user base. And then finally you have rehearse with coach preview. So this is again, what we spoke about before, we can practice the timing of your presentations and your speech when it comes to your PowerPoint presentations. But that's pretty much it for the Microsoft Office app. Then you have the files right here which again lets you look at all your OneDrive files. Press this button down here, 
give you all the different Microsoft applications at one glance. And that's pretty much all you need to know when it comes to this Microsoft Office application. I think it's beautiful. I think it works well. There's definitely a use case for it, which I really like. And it just makes everything more uniform, more ecosystem friendly, for lack of a better term. But that's pretty much going to do it for this entire app. Let's go back to the normal view. So that's pretty much going to do it for this video, everybody. Like I mentioned, this Microsoft Office application is a hub for your entire suite. So you have access to all your shared files, whether it's Excel, Word, PowerPoint, whatever those files are, you'll be able to open them up through Microsoft Office application. And not only that, but they add a couple extra tools, which helps you kind of be that much more productive when it comes to using the Microsoft suite. They added a scanner built right into the application so you can scan documents and turn them into PDFs. You have a PDF to Word convert. You have a file to PDF converter as well. So it's got all these tools that honestly I use on a daily basis through just Google and through random tools that I find online to be able to maybe convert those PDFs into Word. And now you can just do it directly from your iPad Pro, which is something beautiful to see. So there's another section to this Microsoft Office application that allows you to sign documents and quickly move them away and send them out to exactly the person you need to send them to. So, so far I've been very happy with this Microsoft Office application. I'm glad they finally made a dedicated version for the iPad Pro because most people use Microsoft Office on the iPad Pro and not their iPhone. That's, that was my selling point, but thank goodness that Microsoft has done this, but that's gonna do it for this video. Leave a comment below if you guys are happy about this, if you're gonna download it at all, because again, it's free if you have a Microsoft subscription to download this and start using it. But that's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, peace.